Hello everyone. Um, okay. So sa mga viewers dito sa channel, um, I volunteered to answer a few questions uh, for a student na is doing a research. I don't know what the research is, but may mga binigay siyang tanong na I'm interested naman to answer. So it's hitting two birds. I'm helping a student and also um, content kasi matagal na ako hindi nag-upload dito sa, vid sa, sa channel ko. Okay, so let's start with the, with the first question. And before that, uh, introduce ko lang yung sarili ko. My name is John Oliver Rosales. I am from Butuan City. Um, um, if you don't know where that is, it's near Siargao. And it's also near Cagayan de Oro. Not near, but like 5 hours away from Cagayan de Oro City and 2 or 3 hours away from Siargao. Um, ang trabaho ko ay isang software developer for almost 11 years now. And um, isa akong atheist. So, matagal-tagal na din akong atheist pero hindi ko talaga ma-pinpoint when ako naging atheist or inaccept ko na yung label na yon so um, yun ang function ko sa society is of course to create um, software that could potentially solve problems could make processes about, uh, a lot faster and um, yeah nakakatulong <laughs> siguro yung mga apps ko uh, by um, introducing new systems sa isang company ano pa um yeah, I'm 35 years old. I am married, but we decided to not have kids. Um, kasi, uh, I don't think that's our goal. I don't think that's our priority. Um, hindi sumagap sa isipan namin na, na mag-asawa, na magbata. Kasi, we both um, are not really, hindi kami ano eh, hindi kami traditionally. Na, na timing na hindi kami both traditional ng kami na couple na we're in pag, pag mag-asawa dapat mag-anak na and dapat ganun dapat ganyan we think na wala namang dapat so we can decide to not have kids or to have kids and um, a lot of people marami talagang nagre-raise ang eyebrow if we <laughs> if sinasagot namin sila ng ganyan and gumagawa sila ng kwento sasabihin nila na ah, baka baog lang talaga yung lalaki na yan or ang babae and it's it's rude um, na nadidiminish yung yung point namin yung message namin na you have the choice you have the choice to not have kids you can't pressure yourself in having kids just because the society tells you to have kids um, isa pa hindi kami responsive hindi kami ganoon ka responsabling mga tao hindi nga namin kayang i-manage ang self namin yung marriage namin or yung real relationship in general, eh gagawa pa kami ng bata and magpalaki pa ng tao. So, yun. Um, that's another topic. Sorry, medyo natagalan. But yeah, that's uh, my function in society. Yun. Um, I work as a developer and um, uh, at the same time, eh, tumutulong din ako ng mga out of school na youth to learn programming. Kasi, I think meron talagang pera sa web development and sayang yung manpower natin. Um, a lot of our citizens could have earned decent money na makakatulong sa pamilya nila if they just know how to code. Kaya yun, from time to time, I help people. I, I ask around, hey, do you need some help? Because I can, I can train you, I can guide you. So, yun lang. Number two, what are your views on life? So, al yun nga pala, when I saw the questions, I was, I was, ano, medyo, ano kasi, medyo very deep, very deep yung mga questions, mga questions na you don't usually ask yourself. So, some of them are direct, but a lot of them are really, really deep questions. So, life, um, life for me is to be, to exist and to spend a lot of time. Be, be, siguro yung life is, as, ang, ang game as humans is to be at the present present ka dapat and it's a challenge kasi maraming problems we encounter no 
for example, money, we need to earn money. So, everything we think about is for the future. I need to earn money para may bahay, para may, may sasakyan, para quality yung life namin, para makagastos pag may mga, mga emergencies. It's always in the future. But if you have the luxury to be at the present, um, um, that's that's positive. But I think that's not about the views on life. But the views on life, my views on life is we live and we die. Um, 80, uh, uh, average 80 years yung span natin. And at that age, eh, very weak na tayo. And um, we're already ready or already thinking about dying. Uh, when we're younger, we have very you know we are we are free we are very carefree but yun we live we die that's life and we, as much as possible we want to leave this planet now in a better state compared to how we uh, arrived in here so once we arrived here dapat pagalis natin malinis kagaya na lang ng pagpunta natin sa mga lugar na binibisitahan natin um, leave no trace behind wala dapat basura I think for me that's life but again like sabi ko nga this is very deep I haven't really thought about this one but yeah that's life people die people live so we make the most out of it so if you have parents still living spend as much as possible time but if you have toxic parents you don't need to hindi naman kailangan but if you have parents na okay yung relationship nyo you can as much as possible stay with them, talk to them, uh, your loved ones, your 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 wife or your husband or your sons and daughters. Spend more time. Uh, what are your views in eternity? So uh, I don't know eternity forever. Uh, I I thought at first no when I was younger when I before I became an atheist I thought that's the best thing to live forever to not die. I, I thought I really thought that that's the best thing in eternity immortal and hindi siguro immortality kasi eternity to eh, forever so ang concept ng forever is uh, in in context to being alive forever siguro is very you know, amazing for me before but when I grew older and I grew more mature I think I think natatakot ako sa concept ng forever forever uh, para siyang hell para siyang hell for me uh, not the literal hell but something na a feeling of hell so it's a, it's like a feeling of hell for me kasi forever ka imagine forever like being able to do <laughs> if you live forever being able to do the things that you like so naging uh, you for example naglaro ka ng ganito and then Nag, ano ka, nag-learn ka ng crochet and you have the the, the eternity to do things ev- to, to do everything forever so I think darating ang time na paulit-ulit na lang yung ginagawa mo kasi you have all the time eh. that's eternity eh. so views on eternity I don't think um, if you're, we're talking about heaven living in heaven for eternity I, I don't think that's heaven for me. That's hell. I want to rest. I want to have a a moment na patay na talaga ako. Just like sleep, no? After being tired of working, playing with, ano, after after being busy, I want to rest. I want to sleep. I think that's, um, I, I want that. When I grow grow old at, at a certain age na weak na talaga ako, I want to rest. I don't want to regenerate again and maging mab- maging ano forever na mabubuhay for eternity so yeah i want to rest mas okay ang for me ang nothingness mamatay na lang what are your views on heaven and hell uh, heaven and hell i don't think they're true they came from biblical na mga ko- na stories so if if it came from uh, the bible and the bible was not able to prove its claims, marami kasing claims doon sa Bible na hindi niya na, na ipakita. Sinasabi niya doon na may Diyos. Show us evidence that that really is a God or totoo talagang Diyos yun. Puro lang siya story. So, heaven and hell is just another story. So, it's like it's like Harry Potter, right? Harry Potter is a story. 
it's we know it's fiction and it is marketed as fiction but the difference with the bible is it's marketed as holy as a un universal truth as facts so that's that's the difference between harry potter kaso maraming magic and mystery and and the things mentioned in the bible that doesn't sound true so ako na nagusto na lang ng evidence eh hindi ako nabigyan so hindi ako maniniwala until may makapagbigay talaga na ito evidence so for the heaven and hell i don't think they're true unless proven maniniwala ako so yun lang so i don't believe in heaven and hell Uh, the literal heaven and hell na binanggit sa Bible. So, what are your views on reincarnation? We, we don't have evidence for reincarnation, so I don't believe in it as well. So, yun, yun, yun talaga ang maririnig mo pag atheist eh. Um, hindi, 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 hindi lahat ng atheist ganito yung mindset ha, pero what I learned kasi that's why I accepted the label is the first one is ang definition ng atheism. Ang definition kasi ng atheism is the ab uh, the absence of belief or that uh, I do not believe. Meaning, um, paano ba? Um, let's just have an example. A jar. And then, sa, lo sa loob ng jar na yun, eh, may mga jolin. And then, there's this one person who will say na, hey, John, ako, uh, hey, John, there are even number of marbles inside that jar. Even. Like the, the odd and even. So, sabi niya, even daw. And sabi ko naman, can we open it and count just to, to make sure? Sabi niya, you no, no, you're not allowed. But trust me, it's even. Believe in me. Have faith in me. So, that's my problem. Uh, isa akong atheist kasi gusto kong <laughs> i-make sure. I want to collect true things. And for me to be able to collect true things, I need evidence. Kaso hindi hindi ito common sa religion. Ang common sa religion is believe, um, um, dreams, interpreting dreams, ano pa, trusting a book uh, na ito yung authority and having faith. Hindi kasi, in, um, I'm not saying no na I'm not using faith. I am using faith not in the religious sense but sometimes i decide things without really asking for evidence for example um running a business i have failed many times in starting a business because i didn't do the proper way i didn't do planning marketing strategy or anything that could um increase my chances of succeeding so i i use faith kaya nga failure ako kasi hindi ko in, in a strategize ng maayos even nga if you strategize you will still fail kasi hindi mo naman talaga alam ang lahat merong mga variables that are probably missing or hindi mo siya na calculate kaya as much as possible i would try to use the best tool which is the scientific method which is requiring evidence yun so uh, you know what i mean na even if we're using the best tools eh hindi pa nga tayo nananalo how much more if you're using the inferior tools? Inferior meaning yung ano, faith. So, what are your views on death? So, ang mga believers naniniwala na merong life after death, um, we don't have evidence for that. So, until walang evidence, eh, hindi din ako naniniwala na merong life after death. So, ang death is just parang sleep. Ay, kasi wala din akong evidence eh kung ano ang mangyayari sa akin after uh, what what happens to my conscience consciousness after I die. I know what my what will happen to the physical me. I will rot. I will be eaten by worms. If hindi ako pinakremate, eh doon ako sa ilalim ng lupa ililibing. I know that for sure na ganun yung mangyayari sa body ko. But what happens to my consciousness? I think and I I don't I can't really know for sure. But I think it's just like sleeping na parang wala. That, that I can't describe sleeping as well kasi yun nga, manonotice mo na lang na galing ka sa sleep if you've just woken up. Manonotice mo na lang na pap papunta ka na sa sleep if you're feeling sleepy. You do not, you, you can't really describe you 
<laughs> during sleep. So, yun. So, parang ganun siguro yung death na wala lang. And um, everyone will move on. Uh, all of your friends will move forward through time. Tumatanda sila. And then, mamamatay sila. And then, new people will come up. New population. I think yun yung death. What are your views on deities? So, ah, deities, gods. So, I don't, I'm an atheist, but yung kompleto talaga is agnostic atheist ako. I can know, I can say for sure that Jesus isn't real. The Bible is um, just a load of crap, including all the other, um, all the other holy books. Kasi, may panghuhugutan ako eh. Pwede, kong ipres- pwede tayong mag-debate using the Bible itself how crappy it is. I can present. I have a physical thing that that we can both argue with. So that's why I can have a position na hindi talaga yan totoo. Hindi talaga totoo yan si Moses. There could be a Jesus, I don't know, historical Jesus, but I'm sure he, he it is not a god. Okay? So yun yung position ko as an atheist. Lahat ng mga books dito, mga holy books, I think they're just um, manufactured and ginam um, nakita siya ng mga ng mga world leaders as a tool to control people and kaya nag-propagate siya through time kasi yun na nga uh, even if it's even if it's just all made up nagagamit siya to control people kaya nag-propagate siya until now na ilang years na ilang thousands of years na even before Christ there are religions so Zeus is a real god way back so we just call Zeus now as a ano, um, mythology, yung Greek and Roman mythology, but they were actual religions way back, and tao ang nanin, toto, I mean, literal na naniniwala ang tao na Diyos sila. So, okay. So, it is a good tool to control people. Um, so, for the de- deities in general, how the universe came to be, or, kasi uh, until now, scientists are still trying to figure out the, the, the reality of our of our existence. So, we don't have concrete answers yet. We have a lot of questions. We have discovered a lot of things, but we still don't know yet. And I'm, I'm, I'm excited and I'm very excited with whatever our scientists will, found, will find. And uh, in terms of deities, I don't know. Kasi wala ako, I'm an agnostic on that part. Are we created? Is there really a God? Let's forget all the, the holy books. Is there really a God? I don't know. Are we created? I don't know. Is we Are we in a simulation? Like, is this like a virtual world where in our physical uh, uh, self is sleeping somewhere? Like in Inception or in the Matrix? I don't know. Um, are we in someone's brain? <laughs> na we're just very, very tiny I don't know a lot of possibilities there are a lot of possibilities ang naiisip lang kasi ng tao na possibility is there's like a magical super thing that exists and created everything but I can think of other possibilities like simulations like um, we're, our physical body is just sleeping somewhere and we, this is just a simulation and we can't get out because naka-program. So, a lot of possibilities. Hindi lang God eh. So, nat- parang natrap kayo sa isang box eh. Ang theist in, na is asking whether there is a God or not. Hindi hindi kasi isang candidate lang. Maraming candidates of, ano. And all of those things, ginawa ba tayo ng alien? Ang alien, ang ba ang gods? So, all of those things are just, ano, mga haka-haka lang. And I can entertain even the concept of a god, no? So I can entertain everything, but do I believe in them? No, I don't. My answer is I don't know. I want to figure thing. I want to figure it out though, and I wish, um, I wish may mga hints man lang before I die. Na is there really a god? Are we really trapped in a simulation? And all those things. Um, last question. What are your views on happiness? So, this is another deep na question. Happiness. Um, I think yun yung na-describe ko in the first question. Na every one of us are working our ass off. And we are almost living in the future. Nakaplan lahat. Dapat 
dapat ganito ganyan dapat mag work ako para para makapunta ako sa ano and i am one of those na parang nasa future lagi and and i think ang happy being happy is being in the moment just slowing down just yung chill lang so you spending your time with your cousins and your friends and your family you're not actually it's not a investment you're not earning money from spending time with them but those are the things that actually matter when you die those are the things you will miss so i think that's happiness um being being having the luxury to to be at the moment kasi hindi lahat ang at the moment everyone is hustling everyone is working kasi nga mahirap ang mundo na pin, na tinira natin ikaw na hindi masyado mapera pero you decided to have kids talo kang nalugmok sa utang and problema sa pera kami nga eh hindi nga kami nag nag-decide to have kids we are not rich i'm still working i would love to retire very soon pero pero i will probably have to work for a couple more years so yun and that's me living in the future kasi i'm 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 investing in the future i wish i could live in the moment I wish I could just go out and fly my drone. I wish I could just play Dota every day. And that's that's for me is happiness and not everyone can afford it. And if you have a lot of money, probably you'll be happy unless you decide to do the right thing kasi marami ding may, may pera pero ginagamit sa kagaguhan eh. But if you just etong happiness na ni-describe ko being in the moment, I think yun yung happiness. Ha. <sighs> So um thank you for the for Kai for sending these questions. Um I wish may marami pang mga ano mas mas din, dinagdagan mo pa. <laughs> Maybe related to atheism. A lot of these are ano kasi parang given na. For example, heaven and hell, atheists don't believe in them. Um reincarnation, they don't believe in them. So we don't believe in them. So maybe maybe more questions now. And I am happy to answer more if you have more. So you can also interview me. We can have like a parang podcast in my channel if you want. You can talk to me personally, ask questions. And that's it. Bye and thank you.